So if my calculations were correct in all of this, the refrigerator will be powered. And it's unpowered. What happened? Hello guys, Zuljin here and welcome back to another episode of Ark Survival Evolved. Back in the swamp once again, happy to have you here today guys. Thank y'all so much for all the awesome support on the Ark. <laughs> you just see the bird take it though on all the on all the Ark videos in the series guys. As always, if you do enjoy the videos, give me some dap on that like button to show you support for the series. And you can subscribe to the channel for more daily videos. I can't believe the bird just took a dump. So all the comments that you guys sent for the name submissions i just want to say thank y'all so much there were multiple people that commented the same thing over and over and there was a bunch of cool twin names but the results are in and i have decided mental drum roll to name them dusk and dawn i thought that was very very fitting based on their color scheme and just I don't know the, the the words the way I like the way I like stuff anyway guys dusk and dawn are the twins now I'm really not sure how I want to outfit these birds that's another thing I'm thinking about I already have carrier pigeon which has an insane amount of weight and sooner or later we're gonna have quetzals to do that so I don't think weight's gonna be a big deal I think I want these guys to be really really strong tanks like be able to take a bunch of hits and have some melee damage too but you see Archangel stats let me let's 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 look at Archangel right quick so Archangel has almost a little over 5,000 health which is good for an Argent right 2400 stamina which is reasonable and there its melee damage is 1110 now I ride Archangel everywhere movement speed is very very important to me as a mount so I run movement speed almost all the time now we have the option to do in two things I could just build the birds differently but they're twins I have to build them the same and I think if they want to go out with Archangel I think it's best that they are they 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 can survive now as you know when you're not riding a dino you really can't tell how much it has except for the amount of blood on it so i think i'm gonna pump them with health i know that seems kind of weird but at the same time it's smart because they'll be doing some damage while archangel is doing the majority of the damage and after i get like 10k 20k health on them i don't know how much how high i can bring it i can actually give them some melee too so it'll be okay i'll try to balance it out a little bit but for the most part that's the way we're gonna do it so let's just see what we can accomplish on them there by the way i didn't show stats last time for both of them and i'm really sorry but the stats are the same i haven't put any levels on them yet um so if you look their health is 1682 and a half Stamina is 2400, 60, 1682 and a half, 2400, and their weight is 504, melee is 280, 504, 280, and movement speed's 100 on both of them. So, there you go. All right, let's pump health and see what we can do here. Wow, that was a great number. That's really, really, really good numbers. 3,045 hit points just for the current amount of health they have. And I do see that there's an egg underneath here. Now... The eggs, that's what I want to get to today. I'm going to get a bunch of Argent eggs now because I have a bunch of Argents. <laughs> I mean, I really do. Uh, I don't have a whole bunch of females, but uh, I'm going to after I do the breeding or inbreeding, <laughs> whatever you want to call it. I'm not going to do that at this episode because I just did like three baby episodes in a row. But what I want to do is uh, I just noticed that I don't have any place to put them. Um, and another thing is we've been getting some crazy amounts of spawn on the server. So there's been Alpha Raptors ripping up bases. And to tell you the truth, I have too much good stuff and technology over in Poop City to really, really chance leaving stuff there. Plus, I'm using a ton of gas for nothing. So what I think I'm going to do, I was originally planning to just do some divisions in the Born. But what I think I'm going to do instead is go over the Poop City and get some electricity and a refrigerator running for this place now again this isn't going to be my home this is only the born but instead of building more structures when i have all this open space right now i think while i'm working out of it 
before I build the workshop and my house itself, I think it's going to be a good idea to get a refrigerator and electricity set up over here. We already have running water and all that stuff, so I think it's just a good idea. So I'm going to grab Archangel. We're going to go to Poop City and see if there's any damage done based on the recent spawns and what we can salvage from the place. All right, you guys, we're back at Poop City. And it doesn't look like anything got destroyed. There is a very cool building over there with use of the handrails. But I don't see anything else. Let's go check Dinoco. Already checked the house. Uh, Dinoco looks good. No problems there. Uh, no behemoth gates are down. No walls are down. I guess they were just talking about some of the spawns. Like some were spawning close maybe. I thought they might have done something. But I guess they didn't. But as you can see... There are wild dinos spawning inside the gates again. Uh, it wasn't like that before. <laughs> it was not before the recent patch. Look, there's a Parasaur right here. Um, there is... There was another... There was a turtle. Uh, so, yeah, they can spawn there. And, like, right outside the gate. Like, I'll fly over and, and show you on the way out. But there usually is a lot of stuff. But, we need to get two cents back. Which we can bring with Carrier Pigeon. Um, and eventually, we're going to have to get the Anklo back and the um, <laughs> Numskull and Mapakis and stuff. So, there is going to be some opportunities to transfer some animals. Uh, but at any rate, we need to figure out what we want to take here. Now, honestly, I think the air conditioner is probably going to be never used here. Maybe for incubation. Um, so... I mean, I guess it, they, they're not really, really hard to make. Let's see. Let's let's go in craftables and see. Air conditioner. No, apparently that's just chair. Let's search right here. Air. Uh, Ari? No. Air. Air conditioner. Okay, and it requires a refrigerator, which we're going to have to learn again. No problem, though. Uh, so, refrigerator. Not reg. Ref. There we go. And now... Air conditioner. Good. Okay, so we need both of those. So, let's take a look at them. For air conditioners, we're going to need... I guess you have to make them in a smith. Let's go upstairs and see what we can do. Or is that a fabricator type deal? Pro yeah, actually it is a fabricator type deal. Well, we do have a fabricator at the house and a smithy. So it should be good to go. I'm going to grab this cementing paste because, well, why not? It's something we're going to need for stuff. Um... Also, I do have a bunch of metal and polymer over at the other spot, which is the like the metal, I guess you can call it like the metal forge, the base that's that's over there on the hill. So maybe, and then I do want to keep my industrial grill over here too. I don't want to scrap this. That's the thing. So I'm just going to make another one of those. But I do have to take what's out the refrigerator because this stuff is going to go bad on me. Now, this is this is the bad part because these things are relatively heavy. Uh, I got three Spino eggs and nine Packy eggs. Wow. Okay. So, let's just give Carrier Pigeon some of this stuff. I hope... Or you're not, you're not going to eat the eggs. Are you Carrier Pigeon? No. Okay. This is my fertilized egg. I don't want to do anything with that. Um... I gotta keep that good and ready until I decide to do it again. And they're ready to mate again, so I'm gonna try to bring two of them because I really want to see that mutation that they were talking the, the possibly about. All right, I am very, very much overburdened right now, but as you can see, guys, it's not that bad. I thought it was gonna be a lot worse. I do need to take a couple of my blueprints out, like my ramshackle slingshot blueprint. That needs to come with me. So I'm going to grab a few more materials here, get two cents out, and we'll head home with... Well, actually, we're going to head over to the Metal Forge first and see what we can do. Um, in fact... Yeah, yeah, that's what we're going to do. <laughs> Be right back. Well, you guys, we have two cents in tow. Hot Wings is here, and we just passing out of Poop City. And look at this lighthouse. This is absolutely stunning. I don't really know who built this. But I'm sure I'll see the episode in a day or so in my feed. I hope I'm not spoiling anything. I'm not going to go inside because there might be some cool stuff inside. But I really like that. It's really cool. I guess those are the new handrails. Those look really cool. I'm going to have to implement some of those in the new spot. Anyway, I wanted to show you all a little bit of like what the spawn was like on the outside of here. I'm going to go into first person here. And you'll be able to see. 
So right now, there's not a whole lot going out here, but usually on the right side of this mountain, it's really, really bad. And I mean, when I say really, really bad, I mean like tons of like T-Rexes and Raptors and stuff. Like, I always see them here. Somebody said something about a wild Pariser the other day, too. I don't, I don't know what was going on like wild as in um, tearing stuff up. I guess something maybe aggroed it or I don't know what that was all about, but... Right now we just have a few Brontos. I can't believe just because I'm passing out here, it's not. There's no T-Rexes out because there's always T-Rexes. Ah, oh, there is a T-Rex. I knew it. I knew there couldn't be. Even freshly formed, this aerial view crawling with stuff, uh, and they make their way a lot to the Poop City walls. There is a bunch of Raptors down there. Usually, I see one of them right now. Um, and alphas like to spawn in this neighborhood too. So, all in all, it's it's pretty darn dangerous. Uh, man, <laughs> it's a pretty active area. Anyway, the dino spawn cap change really affected the server in a major way, and I just wanted to share that with y'all. Uh, we are approaching the. Uh, oh, by the way, Hot Wings is female, you guys. Um, I'm pretty sure she's female at least. Let's see. Hot Wings, yes, Hot Wings is. Oh, that's two cents. Hot Wings is female, though. You can rest assured. Uh, one of the reasons is you can see that I'm mate boosted, and Carrier Pigeon is definitely a male. Okay, let's avoid these other things, because I don't really want to make Hot Wings fight. Uh, she hasn't been in a battle in a little while, so naturally, I'm a little concerned with that. So this is the Metal Forge area. For those of you that have not seen it, earlier on in the season, uh, we made this area, and it's really baller. Uh, we did the elevator, which was the first time we ever tried an elevator, and it came out pretty good on the outside. Uh, and I do have some materials that I want to grab over here. So let's get right here, and I'm going to set everything down. And as long as Hot Wing stays, he's following Carrier Pigeon. Okay, that should be good. As long as there's no Argentavas that spawn up here, I should be all right to see what I can salvage. Um... And I say salvage, it's pretty much gather because I've pretty much made everything up here. Well, I've made a lot of stuff. Uh, I did donate a ton of this um, of this obsidian. Uh-oh, here we go, here we go, here we go, here we go. Something's going on. Okay, it's an Argent. No problem, no problem, no problem. Um, okay, you guys, stay over there. That's cool. <laughs> I knew it was going to be dangerous out here. I mean, mate boosted Argents already, even though... Uh, carrier pigeon is not much of a fighter. Hot wings is, even though, <laughs> even though hot wings is low level. Okay, so I got that stuff. Uh, oh, there's some scuba gear in here that I should grab because I never gathered that, even though it needs a repair. That's okay. We could do that. I don't think I'm gonna take the wood because I have plenty of that where I'm already at. Uh, but I am gonna need some metal, and let's see if there's any metal left in here. I seriously doubt it. Seriously. No, I'm pretty sure there's no metal left in these forges. Ah, well, it was worth a shot. There's one. <laughs> All right, I'm not going to need that. Well, that goes to show you what's going on. Anyway, I have plenty of submitting paste, and I'm bringing back some obsidian. So we'll have plenty enough to do some more polymer if we need it. Uh, now we just need to head back to the base and put the refrigerator and stuff together. All right, you guys, we're back, and I'm just going to grab a little bit more metal here for all the wiring and stuff that I might need. Not moving too slow yet, but we'll, what we're going to have to do is put together a refrigerator, a generator, some wiring, and get all of that underneath the barn. So, what I think I'm going to do is position that generator a little bit far away in, like, its own place. Not really far away. But I don't want to hear it all the time because I think that's a really big nuisance. So uh, just bear with me on that. So let's see here. Uh, the first thing, let's go ahead and turn it on. Speaking of noise, I'm about to turn this sucker on, guys. All right. Composite. Uh, we might need a little bit more electronics. Let's go structures first. Electrical. Let's go with the generator. Let's go with only one box right now. And let's see. Straight electrical cable. We'll go with 10, I guess. Uh, let's do, let's do 15, actually. All right, let's make an intersection, let's make an incline, actually two inclines, and let's make four or five verticals. I think we should be good with all that. Hopefully, hopefully we have enough for all that. Uh, it, most of that stuff is only taking some metal. All right, 
So now that we got that stuff hooked up, let's grab that, let's grab that, let's grab that. Also, refrigerator is going to have to get set up. Electric, refrigerator, done. Ooh, that takes a bunch of stuff. It's not going to be that bad, though. All right. As soon as I finish, start crafting up these wires. There we go. Now we're going to start making the good stuff, I think. How much straight cable did I make? Oh, okay. <laughs> Here we go with the variety. All right. Incline, one more incline. Then five more regular pipes, then we'll have the refrigerator. Now, I kind of need to replace... Let me just grab a couple of, um, of straight ones here. We kind of need to place the refrigerator after it's all said and done, which is going to be kind of weird. I'm going to go ahead and turn it off. Just because it's so darn noisy. All right, let's see where we can place this. So, the easiest thing for me to do... For now, I think the refrigerator being placed around where the campfire is at would be good. In fact, if I take the refrigerator and just try to... Oh, wait. I made it, but I didn't grab it. Did I grab? Oh, no. I did not make the refrigerator. Are you kidding me? Hold on. Composites, structures, electric, refrigerator. Ah, oh, apparently I took too much polymer? I could have sworn I had made a refrigerator. I'll be doggone. Okay. Uh, let's turn this on again and make some more polymer. Um, turn on. One, two, three, four, five. I guess I had used too much with um, the other stuff. Will we be able to make this now? Structures, electric, refrigerator. That should be enough, actually. 13, 14... 15 good refrigerator there we go refrigerator it's in all right now we can really tell what's going on here all right um i should gamma and if i hit nine here yes it can fit right on the side and i can keep my uh i could keep my stuff okay so in order to do this if we would run a straight cable vertical from here, so let's try that, let's see how that works, or one of these, let's see, let me just put a few of these in my inventory and see what I can do here, inclines, declines, all this good stuff, because uh, the generator will be a little bit further out, I believe, um, zero, it doesn't allow me to just place just like that, now, I can place this like so. Okay. So, let's see here. How am I going to measure this out? I know how. It's going to be on the seam of the second one outside. And even though it's dark, I just need to measure this out right quick. So, on the seam of the second one, basically right behind this plant. Uh, if I can even crawl down here. You know what? Just to make this easy, I'm going to demolish this wall for now. And let me place this wire. I'm actually going to waste a wire by doing this, but that's okay. So that plugs out, and I should be able to see the bottom of that bad boy. Uh, one more gamma. <laughs> gamma four. Aha! There's the wire. Okay. Yep, we're real, real close. Okay, so pretty much... I can probably run it just out here. So, my generator, I guess, is going to go somewhere around here. Because I'm thinking my workshop is going to be somewhere in this area. So, we'll need a little generator house here. Although, I think I want to run it underneath. Maybe the generator house can go in the back here. I really don't know how to do this too well. <laughs> this is I'm in some unfamiliar territory. I'll tell you what, guys. Let me grab some foundation, start playing around with placement, and I'll bring you guys back in when it's daytime. All right, guys. I have decided to put it right here, and I just got a couple more materials to put down here. That's why I'm on hot wings because, well, frankly, <laughs> I can't move without I can't move <laughs> without being on her. Right now I'm too full. Okay, four foundations fit perfect right there. Now let's go ahead and grab some walls. I brought all the proper... Oh, I didn't bring a door frame. Shame on me. Um, let's see. I did bring some sloped roofs, though. 
Let's just place seven of these, shall we? And then we'll just do a door frame on the front or something. I did bring a ramp too. I guess that's where the ramp will go. Five. I'm only going to do it one high because that's really all I need. I just need to be able to get in here, put gas in the generator, and get out. That's kind of weird. The ground shows through there. <laughs> it's very strange. All right. Let's see here. So the ramp will go there, right next to the door. Let me place that ramp just in case I can't later. You know how these thing, those things are. There we go. We can place it there. And last but not least, right there. Okay, so now we put the generator inside. The question is, can I move? I can. Beautiful. <laughs> Thank you, <laughs> Carrier Pigeon. Oh, here we go. Um, What are you doing? Oh, the plants are going to kill you. <laughs> Get out of here! Get out of here! Oh, I'm gonna have to kill you, ain't I? Look at the raw meat. Okay, I'll tell you what. We could always use more raw meat on Carrier Pigeon, too. <laughs> Poor thing. He works so hard. Alright. So, another thing I was doing is maybe breeding hot wings with Carrier Pigeon and getting uh, and and making another carrier bird i don't know i will think about it in a little while anyway let's get the generator set up here so generator is going to come out this is going to be really really hard to line up all this stuff you guys it really is um okay so generator can come out probably right here we should be fine with that i'll bring it a little bit more in okay there's the generator fine and now we're going to need to bring up the ceilings and stuff so we can do it like so. I should just put these on the hot bar for now, huh? Let's do this. And I'll have to do... I really wish I had some wood on me. Because I don't have the door frame. That's okay. Um, Alright, now I can at least place the other ceilings. I'll come back for the other stuff. So we'll put that in its place. And I could have made this out of the thatch top too, but I figured why not. It's going to be like a storage chest. In Cajun French, we call that a caban. <laughs> Go to the caban out back and get some tools, you know. Or put some gas in the generator. All right, there we go, guys. So it's set up. Now, all we're going to need to do that is just put a little door frame in there and that half hitch. So we should be good. As far as the wiring that's coming out of it is going to be the complicated port. So let's see here. We can place it directly out from there, and it just connects out, and does it come out, out? Um, maybe. Where is the incline? That's what I probably need at this point now. Use item. Okay, it does, it goes there. Man. Does it really have to come out that much? I guess so. Okay. So now we can move with the regular ones. Oh no, not that. Um, where is the straight ones? Oh, the straight ones are actually right there, key seven. Okay, so... Are uh, you going to line up? Yep, yeah. alright. How far can we go with that? Okay, we'll need another incline. Did I make exactly the amount of stuff that I was going to need? It connects, that's good, okay. And we'll go with key 7 again. And the answer is no. <laughs> now, will this connect? No, it sure doesn't. Alright, so we'll need one more incline to go. That's no problem. And then we're going to need to run it left. Although it might be far enough here. Um, can I connect this this way at all? No, I can't. One last thing, just to be sure, if I connected this right here, will it even snap? No, I don't think it'll snap at all. It feels like it wants to snap around here somewhere, but it doesn't. Like, I could press the button and nothing happens. It's just going a little bit too far. Okay, we're going to need incline. We might need to bring it back out. The distance is a little bit weird, I'll admit, but that's okay. Let's go get a door frame together. Uh, get my other incline and try to run the wire closer to where I need it. Alright, you guys. I pretty much got it laid out all the way down. 
The inclines worked pretty well. It got it with minimal exposure outside the ground all the way up into there. I ran it right here. I had to do a little weird cross-section <laughs> deal over there, but at, at any rate, it still worked. And as you can see, the wires come straight down over here. Oh, <laughs> not quite. Straight down over here from that cross-section. I did have the cross-section on this side at first, and the wire actually leaned to the left so much that it started to go out the board, so I had to redo it. But here we are. I got it run down, and we have a little bit further to go. Uh, in fact, the other wire that we put down for as a marker is here so we'll have to go down a few more and i do have i think four more pieces of wire that i made so this should work out just fine uh let's see if i can make it connect why won't you connect why there we go why do i have to aim down to do that that's such a weird mechanic the egg kit boxes are like that too Okay, that's very, very, very close. Okay, so if I destroy this vertical and put a junction box, it should just power the refrigerator. Should, technically. Uh, junction box is right. Junction box is right here. Okay, that's like right above the section that I needed it for. Another thing is I brought my wall. The wall that I didn't use actually, <laughs> I put it back. And I know I need to spray paint that, so let's get seven. And it's one and six. There we go. We'll spray paint that. Spray paint that. Good deal. Is there any of that other ones that I left out? This one and this one. And I'm pretty sure. Oh, a few more there. I do need to spray paint the born right quick, too. I'm getting all sorts of work done today. All kind of little finishing projects. I know I'm not supposed to paint in the rain IRL, but it's kind of happening anyway. <laughs> <laughs> no, the, the paint isn't affected by rain on Ark. Thankfully. In real life, it would have been. But a 116 Terra. Oh, man. I would actually love one. I'd love one, but no time. Oh, well. Um, <laughs> oh, well. You can't win them all. All right. So I need to make, I need to paint my little house red and white too. So let's do that. I'm going to do red, all of these. Um, let's set this up right here. And the door. And I don't know what color I'm going to paint everything else. I think I'm going to go with the white ceiling too. Now why can't I paint that? Why can't I do that? Why? It's obstructed because of what? Because of this? Probably because of the stupid, um... The way, <laughs> the way that these ceilings place and stuff. Yeah, that's exactly what it is. Um, okay. Let's get that out. Use item again. Unfortunately. Let's demolish this. Now we can add the frame. Gonna do this the long way around, just wasting materials for nothing. Come on, Ark. All right. Now, can we make another sloped roof? Probably not. Sloped. Ah, so lucky. Just enough materials. That never happens, guys. Never, 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 never. Okay. Slope. Bam. Done. All right. So, what do we paint here? This will have to be six again. Okay, and I'd like, I think I'm, I'm, I like the top to be white all the way. We'll see. We'll paint this red, this red, this red, and this red, and the walls as well, and one more. And then I don't know how much white it's going to take to paint this the top because I don't know what zones need to be painted. So this is how we're going to do this. We're going to go two, three, four, five, and six. That way, everything that it paints is white. And it's going to kind of match the born aesthetic. There we go. And the door. And there's our little generator house. Man, that looks good, doesn't it? Pretty good. It's a good little generator house. Uh, I could do the white ramp, too. That'll work. All right. Now, in here, we're going to have to place gas. 
and we did place that junction box correct so if I'm if 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 I'm correct everything should be powered let's disable this paint gun so we can see well close the door up the wire is powered we go all the way around to the inside and we should have a power junction box in this area so if my calculations were correct in all of this the refrigerator will be powered and it's unpowered what happened <laughs> I don't understand I don't okay <laughs> sheesh man this game it makes me crazy sometimes what did we do wrong okay can we go through right here yes we can it is showing ah oh, wait something's not connected here what's going on <gasps> the wire that I connected is not correct five what is oh I see what's going on now I totally see that's obstructed that's why I can't place um well so the incline deal is not going to work I don't guess because it doesn't place correctly ah this makes me so sad you guys so sad it was so close to being perfect I gotta play around with it just a little bit more you guys alright guys we rehashed it I did get it to connect without intersecting the ramp up top we just used one incline instead of going with two because it was going into the ground and getting obstructed so I feel like <laughs> I feel like such a cable guy crawling underneath the house and stuff okay so we are just about where we were before although we aren't as close to the wall as we were let's try it anyway eight and if we hear the refrigerator kick on it's done it's on it's on the refrigerator kicked on and last but not least the final test guys is if we can hear the generator from uh, can we get out of here if we can hear the generator from the born barely ever so faintly that'll work for me that way I can still tell it's on without even worrying about it it came out I can't believe not too many complications we got the little generator house set up that's perfect and uh, yeah I should put a little danger high wattage sign on there just for the aesthetic but that's very minimal for wires I'm really glad it conformed I'm very happy with the episode you guys I hope y'all are too thank y'all so much for watching guys if you did enjoy the video don't forget to give me some dap on that like button to show you support for the series and you can subscribe to the channel for more daily videos guys thanks so much for watching as always this is Uljin signing off and we'll see you next time